Hey guys, it's Joette with BalloonCoach.com and today as I record this, it is February 7th, 2024 and people are getting ready to go to several conferences that are going to be happening in 2024 and so I wanted to help people prepare for that training to make the most of the experience because not only are you spending the money to go to the conference and your travel and your food, but you're also taking time away from your business and your family, so I want to help you make the most of your investment. So we've got pictures of my favorite teal suitcase, um, some folks um, from photos from Balloon Boss Summit that I put on each year in November. And then, like I said, I'm going to give those of you who are on with me a um, list that will help you with your packing and preparing. For those of you I don't know, hi, I'm Joette. Um, I'm going to be sharing experiences from 20 years of going to balloon events. I started my balloon business in Lakeland, Florida in 2003. And then in 2015, I became balloon coach.com to help give you resources online and in person um, and so I have been a sponsor and a vendor at many of the large um, conferences in the balloon industry since becoming balloon coach and I started investing in my training from the get-go and I remember what it was like to not have any money <laughs> but deciding that yes I'm gonna go to this event and invest in myself and it is the best decisions I ever made because I made amazing friends and so when you make that tribe of friends that you all can connect with that is going to enhance your balloon business more than anything so if you're one of the people watching this and you've not paid to go to any hands-on training i highly encourage you to invest in yourself in the future because it's not just about learning about the balloons but it's about creating that group of friends that will support you along the journey so um first thing let's get you this packing and prep list so i've got the link here for you guys and let me put it out so anybody who's watching this as a replay if it's on my youtube channel you'll see this packing list um, listed down in the notes um, if it's off of my um, website you'll see the downloads um, there for you so let me get that to everybody in the chat that is on with me now as a thank you so you can go ahead and open that up in canva or at least click on it so it goes over to your canva account so that you have it for afterwards all right so it is a long packing list <laughs> and it's things that i learned over the years i'm not going to read it to you but i'm going to give you a few of the highlights number one go ahead and print this packing list now if like you're for your month out from going to float or twist and shout or um, later on if you're watching this and coming to summit go ahead and pack it get it open in advance so you can buy anything that you don't have and for me I usually try to put my suitcase out at least two weeks before the event um, sometimes even a month before the event and throw things in there that I don't currently need um, or outfits and that kind of stuff just so that I'm not racing at the last minute but I know a lot of balloon folks and I've done this often myself where I'm packing like two hours before I have to go out the door so by having a printed list that you can check off it helps you to keep for, from forgetting things a couple things that I have forgotten in the past were you know the um, charging cord to my computer so luckily one of my balloon friends went and um, got me an adapter um, that was for all computers that allowed me to be able to still work while I was at the conference. Um, um, I know people who've forgotten to bring their phone charges and things like that. So go ahead and you know mark those things down. But as you go to any um, event, you want people to know you. In today's world of social media and Instagram, um, you want to um, make sure you wear your logo, right? If you've got a jacket, a hat, um, a t-shirt, um, a nice shirt that has your logo on it you know wear that um, other people really enjoy having the balloon tags um, which you can get from balloon tags.com that instead of being a um, business card is um, laminated item to show people who you are uh, so sometimes people love having those tags or your business cards um, but as you're planning for your training I also encourage you to start taking vitamins about a month in advance to help boost your immune system because you're going to be around a lot of people plus you need your energy so if you are a person who's interested in taking vitamins um, definitely this is a time that you would want to do that to have a little more um, umph and then the other part is drinking water and hydrating prior to the event that week before start drinking a little bit more water um, also during the event bringing something where you can um, get water or go and grab 
bunches of water that you can have during it because it's easy to get dehydrated. For me, I'm from Florida, it's humid here. And so when I go up to the northern states and then during the winter time and there's a heater on, um, sometimes I get really dehydrated. So um, those are just a couple of extra tips. Again, I'm not going to go through every single thing that you need to bring, but um, at many of the conferences, they don't serve a lot of food and meals. You have to go out on your own and get food. So if you're a person who's like, I don't want to miss a single minute and I want to just talk to people, then bring some extra snacks with you like granola bars, nuts, gum, mints. Pack that in your suitcase so you don't have to worry about it. Um, with some of the conferences, they are near like a Walmart or a Target. Um, the other thing you can always do is when you get there, if you don't have to go out and buy stuff, you can always use the wonderful services now and have items delivered to you at the hotel. Um, but as you prepare, a couple of the things that I really encourage you to do is smile and enjoy the process. Like just chill out, take a deep breath, know it's all gonna be good, and go in with that positive mindset that you're ready to gain golden nuggets from the event. So everybody who's joining us now, please do me a favor and type in the chat your name and where you're joining us from, and then what conference am I gonna see you in 2024? Do you already have a ticket for Float, Twist and Shout? Um, I won't be going to Twist and Shout, but I will see you if you're going to Float. Um, I'll also see you at Balloon Boss Summit. Um, or are you looking at trainings and trying to figure out what's best for you? And for those who just joined us live, I did just put into the chat, again, the link that I'm currently showing you. Um, the packing list. So when you're looking at being about a month out and you're preparing to make the most of your investment, you want to make sure that you've got your hotel room and that you go ahead and program in things like your address of the hotel. And if you don't already have an Uber app, you want to do that Uber or Lyft app to get to and from places, going out for meals, that kind of stuff. Find out what the final night um, to, um, dress code is or if they're having any themed events during the week so that you can pack those fun outfits. And then if you have children, I know before we started the recording, uh, Gracie was on that she's currently helping taking care of a friend's um, daughter and um, you know all the things that go along with kids. Well, the one thing that we forget about with our kids, I used to travel to conferences when my daughter was four, <laughs> she's now 24, um, but those emergency care cards at the school. If your kids are in school or daycare, make sure that whoever can pick your child up while you're gone, if they happen to be sick or something happens, that you have updated that card with the people who can go and pick up your child while you're out of town. Because that's the last thing you wanna have happen while you're gone is now there's no signed um, <laughs> permission for somebody to go pick them up. So double check your cards on that and then go ahead and start preparing your family that you're gonna be out of town and come up with a time that you all can talk to each other while you're gone. So one of those great things is letting people know like, hey, um, you know, I'm in conference all day, but I'm gonna be going to bed at this time, ha ha ha, um, or I'll be <clears throat> having a meal break at this time, or I'm gonna be up at this time in the morning. Let's figure out when we can talk and then let them know that those other parts of the day when you're in class, the only way you're going to be able to respond is via text. And sometimes the Internet's not great and sometimes some of the classrooms. So just, you know, let them know, like, here's what you can expect from me. And let's make sure that at some point that you have planned a time that you can interact with them, because let me tell you, when you go out of town, the family that typically ignores you while you're home will want to talk to you and ask you questions the entire time you're gone. So prepare for that ahead of time. Um, the other thing that you want to do is set up systems with your balloon business. If you have other friends in the balloon industry who are not going to the same conference you are <clears throat> that are in your area, they may be able to cover events for you. So kind of talk that out ahead of time. Or if you've trained up family or friends or employees to work for you, go ahead and figure those things out of who can answer the phone for you, who's going to be doing those deliveries, who's going to answer emails, and things that can be done for you where you don't have to worry about any of it at all. And then if you're one of those people that micromanages and you've got to make sure that everything's done correctly, bring folders with you or documents that lets you know everything that's happening while you're out of town so that you can have the details that you need so that you can maybe send a text the night before to your crew and like, hey, are you ready for tomorrow? Or hey, husband, um, please don't forget you're setting up that wedding for me on Saturday. Um, so have that information with you and ready. Um, 
Another thing you're going to want to do is delete out all of the um, images that you don't need on your phone. You need to make sure that there's enough um, memory on your phone to take a ton of photos because you're going to be taking photos with your friends. You're going to be taking photos of the decor. Um, so again, I'm not going to read every single um, piece of this, but wanted to give you some of those highlights that are in the packing list. And we've had a couple more people join, so I want to make sure that you have it. Do, do, do. Going over and here paste all right and thanks as a reminder your name where you join us from and what conferences i might be seeing you at this year so that was your packing list um so next thing about making the most out of your conference is be open to meeting new people all right if you are one of those people who gets anxiety in large groups and you're not sure what to do number one hang out with us at balloon coach there's a group of us that are going to be there for my mastermind members to alumni from past events that i've put on i will connect you with people if you need somebody to hang out with but when you meet somebody follow them on social media like go ahead and exchange that information right then and there to um, make sure that you're hanging out with them and then the other thing is, is have them hold up their name tag next to their face and take a picture because so many times we'll take a picture of a person and they're like, who is that? Or they change their hair color or you know, totally chopped off their hair. It was long when you met them and now it's short on social media. So you don't know who they are. So have them take a picture with their face, holding their name tag right next to their face, take that picture. And then you may even do it where you do a screenshot of their Instagram. So like, you know, that those two things go together. Um, it's a wonderful way to be able to follow up with people after you leave the conference. And then as you're going to classes and you're hearing people talk, be open that there is more than one way to do things. And sometimes you need to know that plan B, C, D, even if it's not your way currently. So let me give you an example. I am old school, 20 years in the balloon industry. I'm all about base plates and frames and supporting my decor. Um, I am very conscious of not damaging people's walls, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. And I know there's a lot of people in the industry who like to put adhesives on the walls or they like to use certain kinds of things. Well, I'm still going to be open up to listen to what they're doing and thinking, well, there might be a time where I'm going to need that. I may not choose to use that method to put up my decor. But I now have it in the back of my mind that, OK, let me go ahead and have those items in my toolbox. So if I'm ever in a situation where I feel comfortable with it and I have permission from the client, then maybe I will use those adhesives. But that's not going to be my number one way to do things, because for me, I feel more comfortable rigging without adhesives. But knowing how people do that and when it's worked well for them, that gives me other solutions if needed. So um, always be open to those new ideas. And even if you're in class where you've learned things a hundred times exactly like what they're doing, I promise that you will um, be able to um, learn new things. And then Gracie said, um, make sure to learn how to send your contact card from your phone. That is a great tip and we can um, practice that at the end. Um, help out with bills. Sorry, all right? I'm sorry, do it. I'm driving and, and trying to text at the same time. It's not working. Um, also with that contact card though, make sure that you upload a photo so that people don't have to worry about taking a photo with you. And then that way it's a little bit more seamless and it's a lot faster. Cool. I love it. So on your phone, you can practice being able to share your contact card that has a photo of you and your information. Great tip, Gracie. Thanks for sharing. And I'm sorry, um, one more thing. And then I, I'm going to, I'm sorry, then I have to jump off. Um, and for people who do take a lot of photos, you can now get memory sticks that will plug into your phone, USB and like the old fashioned iLightning ones. Um, so that like at the end of the day, you can dump it down to a memory stick and then upload it to your computer um, in case there's like Wi-Fi issues and things like that. And I love you guys. And I will talk to you all like, I don't know when. Yay, Gracie, looking forward to seeing you when you come to the mainland. <laughs> Was that for oh, iPhone too? Right. What'd you say? Is that for iPhones too that she was saying? Um, I believe that there are adapters that will allow you to do that. Okay. I personally haven't done it, so it's something that I'm gonna check on afterwards. Okay. Um, so yeah, I will definitely check on that and find out. Um, so that was Gracie. She is um, one of our logistics folks for Balloon Boss Summit in Orlando. Um, she helped out Maureen in 23. She'll be back in 24. And then she also goes to 
pretty much every conference is out there. So uh, you'll get to see her smiling face uh, at the upcoming events. Um, but another way for you to learn about other people, learn other techniques, um, get to do some fun stuff is when you go to a conference, ask about the builds, like um, preparing the decor for the opening and for the events throughout the event. Um, for the larger events where there are um, vendor booths, um, every single vendor is putting up decor and making their booth look nice to attract people. So often you can help out with somebody you know that's doing that. Um, and then class prep. If you know one of the instructors, you know, saying, hey, do you need help inflating balloons prior to your class? So those are four different ways that you can kind of get in, rubbing shoulders with people, getting to know what's going on, and um, increasing some of your skills um, along the way. Um, and so if you're going to be one of those people who in the chat has told me you're going to be at Float 2024, um, I would love for you to come hang out with me. Um, my husband's actually not coming with me this year that he was um, with me two years ago. Um, but um, Tammy Corzine, um, who is one of my balloon friends for ages in the industry, she's going to be sharing with me and um, sharing with you and helping out with Balloon Coach Booth. So we have a double booth. It's booth 6, E, and F, and we are across from Batalic, and Batalic actually has the largest booth in the show, so you'll be able to see us. We're right across from them. Um, please come by the booth. I will have a uh, photo booth for you to take selfies, hopefully get a picture with me, um, because I always end up not with many pictures of myself at the event, so I'm hoping to get more pictures with people this year, either in the hallway or at events and, or in the booth. Um, we'll also have some chairs for you to come sit and hang out, um, talk about things that are going on for you. And then if you would like to have more information about our Balloon Boss Mastermind Program or Summit, I will have discounts for both at that event. So um, I look forward to seeing people at the booth. And then on Monday this year, they're allowing um, those of us in the vendor showcase to have a sponsored session. So I'll, a lot of people kept on asking me if I was teaching because I used to teach at Summit before I became a sponsor for, I mean, sorry, I used to teach at Float before I became a um, balloon coach. Um, and so um, now vendors are able to teach some classes that are 45 minutes long. So this year on Monday at 2.30, there's only one other person going on at that same time. Um, you can come in and um, learn five action steps to increase your income from repeat clients. It's going to be an interactive class where we're going to share some tips from other people in the classroom who've um, had great success, um, but also give you um, worksheets and tips to take those next steps to get more money in the bank because it's an area that most people, um, even if they are following up with some of the repeat clients, they may forget some of these extra steps that I'll be sharing that night or that afternoon at 2.30. So I'm looking forward to that. And then again, if you're coming to float, I would love for you to join us for dinner. This is not a float activity. This is a balloon coach activity. I've signed a contract with Buca de Beppo, which is an Italian restaurant. We went there two years ago. Um, this year I'm increasing it. Um, and so more people can join us. It's $50 per person. I'm actually paying for $3 per person um, for each of you as my gift, um, just to keep it at that $50 number. Um, but what comes with it is um, an Italian meal, and then if you want to have your own uh, other beverages, there will be a cash bar for you. If you need the link for that, um, just let me know, and I will get that for you. I've been putting it up in my Facebook groups, and I will put it in the end of this conversation today, or you can always email me, joette at ballooncoach.com. So what I want to do is I want to find out what questions you guys have um, and answer questions about schedules. Um, the number one thing that I always encourage people to do with a schedule is to look at it and see who the people are that you've always wanted to learn from. So check out those classes first, right? And then I always am going to encourage business first over design because I think so many times it's when we can sit in a room and hear from somebody about what they have learned to make their business profitable and efficient, then we want to learn from those people. And then the decor side of it, there's going to be a lot of shiny objects and a lot of cool things, but what you want to look at is what are you able to sell to your target market and what makes sense for your business, right? And then typically I usually will do at least one class that's kind of fun, right? It's something like, yeah, I probably will never sell this, but it doesn't hurt to learn how to do it just in case. Um, so knowing that you um, kind of look at that and then the next thing is, is when you get to the actual event, when you register, go open up that workbook and now look at the notes. Does it line up with what you thought it was going to be? And if not, you may change at that point which class that you want to go to. Um, so those are a couple of the tricks. And then if there's like 
two or three classes all at the same time and you're not going to be able to get all to then buddy up with some other friends and say, hey, are you going to this one? I'll go to this one and then we can exchange information afterwards. Um, so that's a great way to be able to still learn, even though you're not physically sitting in the classroom. So um, what I want to do is in just a second, um, answer any questions that you guys have. I haven't seen any come up in the chat yet. So if you have questions that you want to ask that I have not covered yet, please let me know. And then what I always do with my events is I are my um, time with people on Zoom is I learn a lot of times people don't talk while I'm recording, but they'll talk afterwards. So what I'm going to let you guys know is if you haven't found a training yet or you're looking for a small group training that can really have an impact on your business, I invite you to join us at Balloon Boss Summit in Orlando. You go to ballooncoach.com, click join on Summit to find more information. The 24 one will be held November 9th through the 14th. Uh, we focus heavily on the business side of things, but also get to build some cool balloons too. And then if you are not able to get away from your business, you can join us in Balloon Boss Mastermind on a monthly basis. Um, check out more information at ballooncoach.com. And I just wanted to share this fun confetti crew photo. This is Melissa Vinson that I met prior to Float. Before Float was ever made, Steve Jones used to do a build event. And I met her from Paducah, Kentucky in Ohio. I then got to go with her to conferences in Vegas where um, she became designer of the year for the first time. I then got to travel to China with her. So going to events and trainings can lead you to experiences you would never know. Like I would never in my million dreams million years thought that I would go to China because of balloons because of people I met at a convention so just wanted to share that fun story that then this year 20 years later almost we were um, together on the confetti crew in New York so it's really kind of fun to see how your life can change after you meet really cool people at balloon trainings so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop that share and I'm going to say, um, for those of you who are watching this as a replay, if you have other questions for me, email joette at ballooncoach.com. I'll be glad to help you out. You're always welcome to join me in the Balloon Boss Mastermind program or come to our events. Um, and I am going to go ahead and turn off the um, recording so the people who are on with me live can ask questions freely. Hey guys, a great question was asked, which was, how do you find out where the local trainings are happening or where trainings are happening around the world? And so on ballooncoach.com, I have a blog and on the blog, it gives you links to different distributors. So this one that we did um, for this week in February was where to purchase quality balloons. Um, and I know the answer, the question is where to find training. But if you look on this, if you go to these top brands that I follow, Sempertex, Qualitex, Tuftex, Jamar, and Anagram, on their websites, they often have the upcoming trainings that you can attend. Then the other thing, well, my computer screen just went weird. Okay. And then the other thing, these are some of the top distributors that have sponsored um, ballooncoach.com events. So they're the top ones that I tell people to follow and look at. There's also other distributors. So, but if you go to all of these and just click on them and get on their mailing list, when they've got things going on, it'll share, but you can also follow them on Instagram and Facebook. So you'll get notifications when things come up. Um, and then, so let me give you an example um, with, um, what was I thinking? I'm sorry, I, I like thought in two different ways. Um, so I'll just go ahead because I know Qualitex always has a lot on theirs as far as their upcoming trainings. So when you go in and you look at their events, um, it's going to show you what things are coming up because they have things going on around the world. Um, sometimes it's even just like a color contest versus an actual training, but like this is showing how they're going to be at float. So that information is there. And then another one that I like to follow is Batalic.com. And on theirs, um, one of the things that you can do too is if you want more than the distributors that I showed, they usually have on how to buy or all their distributors. So you click on that link and now it's going to show you the distributors so you can look at the areas that you're going to be in. And you can just go to every single one of these, go to their website and get on their mailing list. So if you want to be inundated with a ton of information, <laughs> follow all of them or look at these names and then go find them on Instagram to follow them. So 
examples of ones that I know who've been doing a lot of trading recently is um, Toy World in Miami has been hosting a lot of things. I know Tough Text has been doing um, Tough Text Tuesdays at different events. Um, locations at different distributors so just kind of looking at that whole network of distributors and following them online um, Instagram Facebook and then getting on their mailing list and um, then like I said if you come to balloon or go on our um, any of the groups I have we often will be sharing information about those upcoming events too um, let's see Oh, okay. So, um, so with Canva, you don't want to actually print the document. With Canva, I download the document first and then print it from my computer. Thanks, Isabel. She share that. So, yeah. So, anybody who doesn't have a Canva Pro account yet. Um, typically, what you can do with this document is go ahead and um, open it and download it to your computer and then print it um, from your computer directly. And then uh, if you have any other problems with that, just email me, joette at ballooncoach.com. Um, so guys, anybody else who has other questions about training or other things in the future, feel free to email me, joette at ballooncoach.com, and I'll be glad to help you out.